All right, we're in the Coggins Mines area of the Uwari National Forest, uh, or it's really close to the Uwari National Forest. We're gonna go into mines. We're gonna salamander, look for salamanders, snakes, bats, hopefully, and uh, see what we can find. This is one of the sites where I found the very first bat that I ever caught. So, uh, yeah, with a little luck, we can find some more. like a little pipistrel. That's uh, the Latin name is Pipistrellus subflavus. It's a little eastern pipistrel bat. Now what we're going to do with him is uh, I'll get him out and talk to him about him a little bit. But we got to make sure it doesn't fly. Can you hold the light too? Okay. You see, don't wake me up. I'm sleeping. people are afraid of bats because they think uh, one common misconception bats are related to evil well in fact bats aren't evil at all they're I mean if you can look at him he's such a cute little little mammal uh, but people think bats will fly in their hair and uh, it's, it's untrue bats their sense of echolocation which is a series of clicks that they they call out is uh, usually above what uh, humans can hear but they're that is so keen that you know they could detect a strand of hair much less a whole head of hair so they wouldn't ever fly in someone's hair it's the uh, urban legend but uh, this guy like I said he'll, he'll put out these calls at night when he goes out and feeds and uh, what's well, the action I'm saying he it's actually a female okay so she will put out a series of calls and uh, the echolocation will bounce off the insect. She'll pretty much home in on it like a sonar and come and eat them at night. It's uh, they're a very, very beneficial animal to have in the ecosystem. And uh, that's why we want to study them. That's why we want to raise awareness for them. Because like I said, they're not evil. They're, um, I think they're a beautiful animal and uh, more research should be done on them because people should know a little bit more about them. I think there've only been 40 in the last, uh, 40 years of them, there's only been like 40 cases of rabies in the United States from a bat. Uh, you're more likely to get struck by lightning or hit by a truck than you are to get rabies from a bat. However, take precaution, treat every animal like they do have rabies and, and don't get bit because obviously you have to take that precaution or you'll have to get the shots. And uh, I don't want to get shots. I know. So we're in another cave, uh, actually, you know, a gold mine or a mine. Uh, and on the wall in between some rocks, I found this. It's an Epteticus fuscus. It's a uh, big brown bat. I'm going to attempt to handle him. And know what? You should never do this unless you are trained. And I've been trained by the best. Come on, let go. Let go. Can you get Thank you. All right, as you can see, now the first bat we caught was a Pipistrellus, which is tiny compared to this guy. Now this is a, uh, like I said, it's a big brown bat, Epteticus fuscus. Uh, if you'll just take a look at him, uh, I mean, he's really pretty. Now, like, like most of the bats, actually all the bats in North Carolina, he's an insectivore, which means he'll go out at night, uh, he's nocturnal, he'll sleep in here during the day, and then uh, when nightfall comes, he'll go out and uh, he'll catch uh, 
insects that you know flying insects and things like that uh, as you can see he's got this membranous structure between his uh, his fingers which are you know his fingers make up his uh, his wing and uh, this membrane connects them kind of like the webbing on a t uh, frog's foot or something like that it's pretty much the same concept this right here is his thumb and uh, yeah, it's just a pretty cool bat as you can see his wingspan is pretty big isn't it I mean from end to end I'd say it's what like 10 inches maybe mm. it's a pretty good pretty good font <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna let him go. I need you to shine him. Go ahead and uh, I want you to. Yeah, I'm afraid he's gonna fly. Let's see, I'll put him right here. Because I know he's just gonna fly off. Because he's mad at me. Look at him opening that mouth. He says, You I was sleeping and you had to come mess with me. I just wanna go to sleep. Now what it'll do is it'll turn upside down, they sleep upside down so they can let go and just fly off. They don't use the sleep right set up like that. But I'll let him do that uh, and we'll go ahead and keep on looking. And the adventure continues. Who goes in this cave and not come out of this cave? Hmm?